10 rappers that predicted their own death. Sooner or later, we all have to die, right? Even our most favorite rappers are going to die anytime in the future. Although several rappers might have become immortal through the legacy they leave behind in their awesome works of art, sometimes their untimely death prompts people to look back on their lives to find something that might have forecasted their passing. And you might be shocked to know that some of that research resulted in the discovery of material that indicated that a lot of rappers had eerily predicted their death. For instance, Dalla had predicted in one of his songs about his death. Sadly, he was shot and killed back in 2009. To find out what he wrote in his song, make sure you watch the video till the end. In this video, I am going to tell you about 10 famous rappers who predicted their deaths in songs, interviews, or on social media platforms. But before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that bell, so you never miss any updates. Do you want to win a brand new iPhone or a brand new MacBook Pro? Maybe you'd prefer a $500 Amazon gift card? Well, comment the hidden message in this video for a chance to enter to win. 10. Proof This rapper had rapped about his murder two years before he was killed. Back in the year 2006, the D12 rapper Proof was murdered in a nightclub in his hometown. Let me tell you that Proof was Eminem's best friend and a standout member of the band called D12. On the album titled D12, which was released in 2004, Proof sings, I'm in the club to beef, you gotta murder me there. On April 11, 2006, Rolling Stone reported that he got into a verbal altercation in the club with Keith Bender Jr. According to the report, the rapper shot Keith, and then, Keith's cousin named Mario Etheridge killed Proof. Unfortunately, Keith also died in this incident. You might also want to note that Proof participated in Eminem's 2005 music video for the song titled Like Toy Soldiers. In this video, Proof could be seen reenacting his murder. Now, I don't want to make it seem less creepy, but Proof used to spend a lot of time in clubs. On the other hand, it is worth noting that murder is not a common cause of death. In fact, out of 100,000 deaths, around 6 people are murdered. So, what do you think, was it a weird coincidence, or the song was prophetic? 9. Lisa Left Eye Lopez On April 25, 2002, a member of TLC died in a crash. Lisa Lopez, better known as Left Eye, was 30 years old at that time. A few months before she died, Lisa was in a van that collided with a young boy, who died due to this accident. It is worth mentioning that the last name of this boy was also Lopez. The rapper was reportedly disturbed by this incident, and she even told her friends that she felt as if the spirit of death was trying to take her and took that boy by mistake. Left I even admitted to having dreams about her death. 8. Big L. By the mid-1990s, a rapper named Lamont Coleman from Harlem was becoming famous, who was shot and killed in 1999. At that time, Big L was 24 years old. Indeed, he was a talented lyricist, and his storytelling was chock-full of vivid details. He released his debut album at the age of 21, and his second album was released posthumously. In a song titled Casualties of a Dice Game, Big L rapped, I got weak and fell on my rear. Now I can hear the sirens. That means here comes the jakes. But it's too late, I'm knocking on the pearly gates. On February 15, 1999, this young legend was murdered in a drive-by. 7. The Notorious B.I.G. Back in the 1990s, two rappers were dominating the hip-hop scene. Yes, I am talking about The Notorious B.I.G and Tupac Shakur. One of the biggest rap icons named Christopher Wallace, who was better known by the stage name, The Notorious B.I.G, was famous for his seemingly effortless flow. However, he was also among the most prominent figures in the violent West Coast slash East Coast Gang War. In a song titled Suicidal Thoughts, the rapper sings, I wonder if I died, would tears come to her eyes? I want to leave, I swear to God I feel like death is calling me. It is worth noting that these lines from his last song on his last album called Ready to Die. Nearly one and a half years later, he was killed in 1997 by an unknown assailant in a LA drive-by shooting. 6. Juice WRLD If I had to describe the reaction of people to rapper Juice WRLD dying in two words, my answer would be shock and sadness. The rapper died in Oak Lawn in Illinois on December 8, 2019. 
According to a report published by the Chicago Tribune, Juice WRLD, who was 21 years old at that time, died due to an accidental drug overdose after he went into cardiac arrest. In 2019, he spoke about his first introduction to drugs on the No Jumper podcast. He said, because I was a music head, so like in 6th grade, 7th grade, I'm hearing songs about sipping lean. He also said that rapper Future was a person who influenced him to experiment with drugs. In the podcast, Juice told the host that Future's music made him want to sip lean at the age of 11 or 12. He had also referenced his drug problem in his songs such as Legends, Different, and Lean With Me. On the track titled Legends, Juice sings, What's the 27 Club? We ain't making it past 21. I've been going through paranoia. So I always gotta keep a gun. Let me tell you that he referenced the group of artists who have died at the age of 27, such as Amy Winehouse, Jimi Hendrix, and Kurt Cobain. 5. Prodigy. First of all, let me tell you that this rapper had sickle cell anemia, which the CDC describes as a group of inherited red blood cell diseases. On June 20, 2017, Prodigy died in Las Vegas from accidentally choking on an egg. He was 42 years old at that time and was hospitalized for sickle cell, TMZ reported. In his final interview on video before Prodigy died, he said that he had seen a black shadow walking across his room. However, he never stated that this shadow meant that he will die soon. 4. XXXTentacion On June 18, 2018, this famous rapper, Yase Onfroy, was tragically shot and killed in Deerfield Beach. Better known by his stage name, XXXTentacion, this rapper died at the age of 20, and it is worth noting that this man had already predicted his passing in a live video on Instagram. Although it is not known when the clip was actually created, a fan of XXXTentacion posted it on Twitter back in 2018. In the video, we can see XXXTentacion saying, if things comes to worst, and I F sharp hashtag hashtag ing die or some sh hashtag t and I'm not able to see out my dreams, I at least want to know that the kids perceived my message and were able to make something of themselves. Before the young rapper created this video, he rose to fame by addressing topics such as depression and loneliness. Before he died, XXXTentacion released an album titled 17 in 2017 and LP in 2018. It is worth noting that in the music video of his song, Sad, he can be seen laying in a coffin. Was it just a coincidence or did he actually knew that he was going to die soon? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. 3. Tupac Shakur. He will surely go down in history as one of the greatest rappers. Tupac Shakur and Biggie inspired several generations of rappers that followed after them. Let me tell you that the most creepy thing about his death was the fact that he sang a song around two months before he died in which he sings, I've been shot and murdered, can tell you how it happened word for word. This line is from the song, Richie Rich, which was featured on the album titled Seasoned Veteran. This is indeed what happened since Tupac was shot in Las Vegas on September 17, 1996. A few days later, he died at the age of 25. 2. Mac Miller. This rapper had several hit songs, and who can forget his very publicized relationship with the famous American singer Ariana Grande. Mac's last music video for the single titled Self Care featured a picture of this rapper lying in a casket. Moreover, there was a scene in this video where Mac carves the Latin phrase, memento mori, which means that remember that you have to die. He reportedly died from a lethal cocktail of alcohol, cocaine, and fentanyl on September 7, 2018, at the age of 26. Back in 2015, Miller had said in an interview with Billboard that he was afraid that drugs would kill him. In his song titled What Do You Do, Miller rapped, a drug habit like Philip Hoffman will probably put me in a coffin. 1. Dalla. Unfortunately, this rapper was killed before he could release even his debut studio album. We are talking Roderick Anthony Burton too, who was better known by his stage name, Dalla. The rapper grew up in Atlanta and on his single titled Georgia Nights, he talked about his experiences as a gang member. Let me tell you that this young rapper foretold his death on the same track. He attributed his death to a gun and claimed that all men in his family died in the same way, and they would die in this way. 
In the song, he says, waking up in cold sweats having dreams of going out with a bang slash my papa died by the gun. Dalla continued the lyrics by stating, I'll die by the gun. And if I ever have a son he'll probably die by the same. They say the good die young, so I must be on my way. This indicates that Roderick also predicted that he will die at a young age. Shockingly, he was shot and murdered outside of Beverly Center in LA on May 18, 2009. He was only 21 years old at that time. These were some of the popular rappers who had accurately predicted their own passing. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, tell us in the comments below which of these predictions shocked you the most.